everybody, welcome back. Dr. Dart here. Um, we are having some crazy weather here with um, lots of sleet and thunder and lightning. Um, so if you hear that in the background, that's what's going on today. I have my little helper on my lap, Lucy. She's terrified of the weather. So if you see her little head pop up here and there, um, that's why. Today we're going to be talking about parental alienation of adult children. Remember that when you are breaking off a relationship from a narcissistic emotional abuser, whether they are a covert or overt type of abuser, inevitably there is a smear campaign that begins before even the breakup. Unbeknownst to you, this person may have been talking behind your back telling people things about you that either were personal um, or not true, but definitely trying to lean people towards them so that they're seen as the good one, um, you know, that they were somehow harmed. So the perpetrator of the emotional abuse in the relationship suddenly becomes the super victim. Sadly, this doesn't just happen with people outside the family. It happens also with children, young children, and even adult children. Sometimes information is shared with adult children very inappropriately about the other parent. And so suddenly you may begin to feel this growing distance between you and your child or children that you just, you don't understand. You don't know what's going on. You have no idea what they're being told, so have no idea how to defend yourself. What I want you to remember is that with the smear campaign in general, the best approach is not to get into the fray, um, not to go out and start saying, well, he or she did this or that, and, you know, and really start defending yourself, but rather to hold your head high walk the walk, be who you are, and show by your behavior that there's this huge contrast between what your abuser is telling people about you and who you truly are. With adult children, it's important that you defend yourself and you don't have to directly address things that you may or may not even know that they've been told about you but rather to say early on in the midst of the divorce or the breakup, um, something like, you know, this is going to be difficult um, for the other mate, the other spouse and myself, and it's also going to be difficult for you. Sadly, I cannot attest for what your, let's say dad, for example, is telling you um, but I do want you to know that if you have any questions ever, please come to me and ask me. Um, don't just take it as truth. And along with that, I will promise you, I will not tell you disparaging things about your dad. I will not share with you personal things about our relationship that frankly, you don't need to know about. You may be an adult, but you are still our child. I love you with my whole heart, and I want to give you the support, so maybe sometimes the space, that you might need to navigate through this. But as we go through this, I want you to know that I will always be truthful and honest, and that I don't want any secrets and although I can't speak for your dad, who may be telling you things about me, I don't know, I will not tell you disparaging things about your father. I think it's important that we have a relationship and that you have a relationship with the other parent and the rest of the family members, and we don't need to be in this triangle and so if either one of us tries to pull you into an area that, you, frankly, you don't feel comfortable going to, 
that you don't feel comfortable going to, that really doesn't involve you, please promise me that you will say that. Hey, I don't need to hear this. You know, that's between you and mom. That's between you and dad. I don't need to hear this. My door will always, always be open to you. My heart will always be open. I will love you forever. And if you ask for a boundary, a little bit of space, I will respect that. So I just want you to know that I can't control what anybody else tells you. I can only control what I do and what I tell you. So with that kind of conversation, you are setting the stage for your adult child to expect something different from you than they might be seeing or hearing from the other parent. Oftentimes the narcissistic abuser is the one, not always, but often, who ends up um, in a better position financially. And sometimes they use these resources to um, really bribe and schmooze and influence um, your adult child. And so it's more fun maybe with that other parent. We don't know, there's all sorts of situations. But holding your head high, walking the walk, setting a boundary, doing self-care so that you can have conversations and be able to control your emotions, to be able to listen even when you're hearing painful lies sometimes being expressed from one of your adult children. This will begin to show over time the difference between you and this other parent. I can tell you countless stories of people who have gone through this, who have been completely estranged at one point from their adult children in the most heartbreaking way and having a sense of how can this change? This will never change. As long as you have left that door open and you have interacted in a positive manner and given your child permission to ask you questions or to call you out, there will come a time when the narcissist behavior towards their new supply, which is now your adult child, becomes apparent just as it did with you. They are who they are. Narcissists can talk a lot about change but by very nature of having a great deal of narcissism in the personality, they don't see any reason why they should change. So again, this is really tough stuff. You can't control the other parent. You can't control what he or she says or does. But what you can do is by your behavior, show who you are. And the contrast will be apparent. So I hope your weather is nicer than our weather is here today. <laughs> and I hope that it wasn't too noisy in the background with all of that sleet and ice coming down. I appreciate you so much. Please feel free to ask any questions you might have, leave any um, feedback and like a, um, a video if you like it and subscribe to the channel so that you know when new videos come out. So go out, do something nice for yourself today, make it a great day, and Lucy says, see you later. Bye-bye.